What's poppin', Divine Soul? What it do? What it do? I hope you rose up feeling peaceful, feeling grateful for all the opportunities we have in this day, in this moment to grow, be better, love ourselves. Uh, accept everything that flows into our experience all that good shit okay so we gonna get to the read so the first thing I heard this beginning well when I was doing my stretches I heard so good so good so good I know you hate it but I so good, so good, so good. I'm doing so, 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 so. I'm doing so, 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 so good. That's what I heard, right? So then I pulled cards, and the cards were it's time to let go of negativity, and the other card was stop number 34 34 right so with all of that energy I am feeling that divine soul viewer it may be things or people this I'm feeling people people that you and I may sometimes come up in our in our awareness that we feeling and wondering if they feel in a certain way or we feeling like um maybe we 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 haven't been feeling somebody else's vibes or maybe we've been feeling people's projections or maybe we could just be too preoccupied with wondering how somebody feel about us but that shit don't matter. That shit don't matter. We've been doing so much growing and so much self-care. And I'm here to be a witness that when you start taking, when you start prioritizing yourself above everyone and everything, motherfuckers will get butt hurt. But that's not our, that's not our issue to, to be concerned about how people feel about us. Because the way they feel about us is just information for them to get to heal something in their own selves. You feel me? So, I'm just feeling like we've been in this transformation stage. God is showing us, telling us that we have the awareness and the tools like... We got the tools to walk in in the Christ consciousness. You feel me? Like people are people are supposed to feel a way about you. Like you are designed to trigger some people for they can learn and grow from what you're doing. But it ain't our responsibility to hold their hand and caress their face and be like, oh poo poo, did I do something to make you feel no. No. So it is we definitely in a space to let that go. Like I said, God is showing us that we have all the tools to operate in Christ consciousness. And, and Christ knew what Judas was on. You feel me? But still treated Judas with the love of God because Christ was love and Christ did have oneness consciousness and we have the tools to to walk in that too we are that so i'm feeling like having having thoughts of what people feel about your journey and how you treat yourself and how you move and walk in the world is like not necessary at all and to let that go Like, I feel like no matter how healed you are throughout the rest of our experience in this realm, we're going to encounter experiences that make us feel like it's negative. You feel me? But we are, 
for our growth and the level of growth we've reached we can observe that shit and, and and notice it for what it is as a as a reflection of something going on inside of us that we can work on you feel me so it's all about our perspective and um what was number 30 number 34 which was on the stop car so it would benefit us to let go of those ideas and sometimes i'm still healing in in a, in a whole lot of areas that used to have me bound that don't have me bound the same way but sometimes i still have certain thoughts and, and triggers and shit and i notice when i when i have a thought about what somebody else feeling towards me that I learned how to do a meditation to picture them and send them love because that's how you heal that. So I will I will recommend you trying it. Like um I just put my left hand over my heart and I hold my right hand out and I close my eyes and I envision whoever it is that I might have had a thought about that I felt like they felt something towards me or whatever kind of feeling I had that was triggering. I will picture them and I will breathe in and out. When I breathe in, I'm picturing green little hearts floating all through my exterior and healing everything in me. Then when I breathe out, I picture the same green little hearts floating towards them and engulfing them. And that's how we heal those kind of thoughts, okay? And we sending them love too. Love conquers all. So I would recommend you doing that. So number 34, number 34. When I looked that up, it meant, what did number 34 mean? It meant basically having all the tools, the creative tools to um, create the life that you desire to accomplish whatever you feel in your heart, having all the tools to do that. That's what that meant. And number seven was like a spiritual enlightenment and completion. So what that's telling me is like that stop energy and that let go of negativity that's like standing in your own way with being concerned about shit that don't got nothing to do with you. And that we have the tools to let that shit go and progress through this new door that's opening and operate in our motherfucking God body and love everybody, no matter how they react or react towards us. No matter matter how somebody else's energy feels towards us we gonna use that as a fucking mirror we're gonna use that as an opportunity to show love and be the great love is the greatest teacher love is the greatest teacher so we're gonna use that as an opportunity to extend love because when people feel a way about you loving their self that's just because they haven't found the love for themselves so we have to be the teachers we don't have to be, but it's our purpose to be. We got the choice if we want to or not. And we come too far to keep dragging ourselves through lessons that we already learned. You feel me? The birds are singing to us like a mug today. We love y'all. Hey, nature. <laughs> hey, nature. Okay, that's going to be the end of the read today. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for all the support I've been getting. I really appreciate you. I'm sending you love and healing energy on today. If you're interested in getting an intuitive read by me, hit my DM, follow the link tree, or email me. Be sure to uh, follow this page if you feel the vibe or if you feel like this message resonates with you. Or leave a comment on the comment section. And uh, I hope you have a dope ass day. And remember, you come too far to hold yourself back you come too far to to keep repeating a class that you already graduated you feel me certain shit is sent to us to be distractions to see if we are ready for the next level we entering and we we more than ready you feel me we more than ready okay i love you bye bye deuces